Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm bringing you this how-to video on how to install the 269 Motorsports Hardline Steam Vent Kit for the LS motor. So, let me get set up and we'll get into the video. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that balling. Doing this is my... All right guys, here it is. 269 Motorsports Steam Vent Kit. This is the Hardline Kit. Man, look at that. Look how nice and precise that is. It's gonna look really good on here. Um, they have it all labeled, so you don't have to worry about getting the lines mixed up or anything. And they give you even uh, give you uh, new gaskets for the ports there. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start in the back of the engine, installing our steam vent kit. So you'll want to grab your adapter with your Allen head already in it. Go ahead and grab your gasket and you put the rubber part of the gasket on the black non-threaded part of the adapter. Just like that, so the coolant can't seep out of there. We're gonna go ahead and start threading it by hand into the back of this steam port. All right, and we'll go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. Alright, so the tool you'll need to tighten these Allen heads down is a 4 millimeter uh, Allen head there. I'm just going to go ahead and just loosely tighten these down for now. Alright, so the next step, we are going to go ahead and install our fittings. Now these threads are super fine, so be careful not to cross thread it. You can do that really easy. We're going to do the same thing for the other side. Alright, now let's go ahead and move to the front. All right, guys, so we're going to move to the front and do the same exact thing as we did in the rear. Alright, now our front is ready, let's go ahead and put the fittings in. White thread tape is optional. There's not very much pressure on this line, so you do not have to use it if you don't want to. It's uh, your preference. Alright, let's get the rest of the kit ready. All right, guys. I went ahead and went ahead and put on these fittings on this uh, this junction block here that will allow when the coolant comes through it or the steam comes through it, it will direct it back into the radiator. So that's how that looks. Your straight fitting will face the front of the engine. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to read through these labels and see where exactly where all these go. So this one is going to be the driver's side front, which is going to be on this side. This is going to be the driver's rear, which is going to be over here. This fitting that has nothing on the end of it will be used for the return to the radiator. You can also use a custom line with 4 a.m. This one here is going to be for the passenger rear. And the last one, obviously, 
is going to be for the passenger front. All right, guys, now that I have it all organized, let's go ahead and start putting the hard lines onto the fittings. Once again, be careful when you're threading these because it's a really fine thread and you can strip these out and you don't want to do that. Make sure not to fully tighten these down yet as you want to be able to have movement in them so you can align them up with the, the block in the center. All right, now that we got it all set up here with the hard lines, let's go ahead and put the block here onto their corresponding uh, hard line. And this is why you want to keep them loose so you don't have to force them on there. You don't want to, you definitely don't want to force it. Once again, loosely put them on there until you get it all lined up. Once you get them all lined up and on, you can tighten them up. You don't have to over tighten them because the way A and fittings work, you see this little cup there? It cups onto the end of this fitting. Hang on, let me show you. It cups onto the end of this fitting here and creates a seal. So you don't have to over tighten it. And there it is guys easy five ten minutes you have your steam vent kit installed now all you have to do is if you run their supply line you have to this will fit a rubber hose over it with a clamp you can run it to your desired location the radiator usually I've seen some people run this to the water pump but it's uh, your preference there's no really right or wrong as long as it goes back into the cooling system so there it is, the 269 Motorsports Steam Vent Kit installed the hard line. Um, in a couple weeks, I will be coming up with a soft line kit that fits the LS1, LS6, uh, the regular type intake manifold, the factory OEM one. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you install your new kit. See you guys.